Good morning, friends. It's Tracy from the next day, or it's Tracy from Nova Scotia Living. I don't think I filmed very much yesterday. But it's a little after six now. I just made myself a coffee. We got back from a walk. It's Tuesday morning. <coughs> today is an exciting day for me because a book I've been waiting for is released today. I pre ordered it on ebook. It's The Witch Queen of Halloween. That's what it's called by Cressley Cole. <laughs> I've been reading Cressley Cole for like 20 years, honestly. This is just a little novella. I did order the paperback, but it won't be here till tomorrow. But So I'm going to devour the ebook today. But it's not a long book. It's only like, a, like 200 pages or something, which is... I'm not a fan of novellas. But I will absolutely eat whole... Anything that she writes, I have every single book she's ever written, and I have read it, and I've read all her books probably more than once. This is book 20 in a series, and um, it's paranormal romance, just so you know. It's like uh, a treat kind of author for me. It's not so dramatic. It's just like one of those comfort, well, if you have a comfort movie or a comfort show, this is a comfort author, author for me, so... I'm trying to hold back Op opening the app on my phone. I I really just got the Kindle app so I could pre-order the ebook for this release. And it's a free trial for 30 days or something like that and then you pay whatever a month. And it's good. It's just I don't have a Kindle and but I will just read it on my phone and I'm so excited. Anyways, uh the fire's going. It's kind of chilly out and I'm going to have my coffee. I just paid a whack of bills. You got a nice big fat, you know, not a big fat account, but then it's bill time. <laughs> yeah, but I feel good. I paid stuff that needed to be paid, so it's paid. Anyways, my voice is still going in and out. I feel okay now. Oh boy, I had a hard time getting out of bed though. Wow. Real hard time, but, um... Yeah, today's going to be a, well, it's only, like I said, 200 pages. I could probably read that, like, well, I'll read that probably before lunchtime, honestly. Yeah, most definitely. But, uh, <clears throat> anyways, I'll be back in a bit. Oh, you're welcome, Randall. Yeah. Oh, I don't know if you heard that. You're welcome, bud. I just put some food out for these guys. I should have my big jacket on, but... Anyways, there. Help yourself. You don't need to wait till I go in. Unless you're scared. And then there's some over there. Oh, Down the road. Yeah, there's a bunch up there. Oh, okay. I don't know where Devin is, but whatevs. Oh, they're all flying over. Okay, have a good day at school, children. I love you. Thanks, me. Uh, the crows. Love you, bud. Have a good day. See you after school. There's two up there now. Love ya.
Okay. All right, kids. Come on over and get your grub. Oh, I see smoke coming from my chimney. That's good. I did just bring up an armload of wood dough to restock her. Uh, yeah, Tank, the little French bulldog over there is outside barking. <laughs> Cute. Cute little bundle. All right. Let's let the sun shine in. Sing it with a grin. Open up your heart and let the sun shine in. <laughs> oh, gosh. Then I'll go wake up the big kids. What do you have to say about that, Boris? Do you have anything to say about that, huh? Eh, yeah. get off of me. Get off of me, you paparazzi. Okay, I read the first chapter. It's 24 pages. And, I don't know, it's 747 or something like that. There's 179 pages in this book. So I'm just going to take a little break so I don't devour it too quick. And I'll go chapter by chapter. I'll read one chapter and then I'll get up and do some forests. Do something and another chapter and do something. But I did go up and wake up the big kids. And yeah. Yeah, maybe I'll go figure out what I'm going to do for supper. guys I am gonna wash this this is embarrassing it's so dirty it's so gross and I need new light bulbs I think only two of them work I'm filling up the sink now with some soapy water I'm gonna take these off uh, two of them broke Marquise and Kara accidentally broke them one time but I'm gonna wash them and see if I have light bulbs all right I took them off so yeah just two of them work yeah that's wonderful Okay, it's 8.19. Oh, that one over there. It turned on, but then it shut off. Like it did, it was one, I don't know, just a minute. All right, I just wiggled it. It was one that was in there before, so. Um, if one of us goes to town today, I need two more light bulbs. So, but those are washed. I wiped off the thing. And it's a heck of a lot brighter in here than it was. All right, guys, I'm outside again. I swept the floor and I wiped my sink out and my counter and my stovetop, all that good stuff. Um, I'm just waiting for the big kids to come out. And there was a little compost in the fridge I put out. It was some leftover craft dinner from yesterday and um, a little bit of pork cut up. So I just put that on the garbage bin because Randall or Herbie will come and eat it. And, yeah, I'm hot now, but I swept the floor. It needed it bad. But I'm going to go in and read another chapter or two after this. And, yeah. All my sparks are there. Hi, sweetheart. Anyways. Yeah, just waiting for the kids to get off. Now, Mally, or Misha and Mays just have tomorrow to go to. Like, Wednesday. And then they have Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday off. Because... Thursday is parent-teacher or something like that, but it's not for the high school. So the kids have an extra long, extra, extra long weekend. Oh, here comes Maui. Oh, Boris, what the heck? <laughs> did they get on? I think they did. <laughs> they got on Hi, Did they break the tree? Heck. All right, have a good day at school, you guys. <coughs> For heaven's sakes, what's going on here?
You guys wanted to go to school too, or what? All right, let's go see. How the heck did that happen? Oh, for heaven's sakes. Yeah, I don't know. Or maybe the clamp broke? I don't know. I'll have to just bring them in the house and sort it out. All right, we made it in. So there's not enough to start the dishwasher. But it's nice and cozy in here. Everything's wiped down. Violet. All right, I'm gonna sit down and read a little bit. Oh, all right guys, I'm on page 85 of 179. Um, I'm gonna go down and get some wood for the fire. I'm sitting out here now because it's nice and cozy, but the book is really good. It's about um, this little witch named Poppy and a, s a smoke demon named Rock. I don't know if that's how you say it, are okay. <clears throat> Anyways. <clears throat> oh, my voice. Anyways, <clears throat> they're trapped in a castle, an uh, old warlock's castle that's cursed, and they can't get out. And it's uh, it's quite the adventure. It's quite the adventure. I'm loving it. Anyways, I need to <clears throat> go get some more wood for the fire to keep this hot box going, baby. left <clears throat> um my husband was just up he was we were just chatting and stuff like that but i'm trying to drag it out it's like noon now and i want to i don't want it to end but <laughs> uh it's still uh it's going really good um poppy and rock are encountering a lot of different creatures in this castle and she's there to try to break a curse that she's under. And he's there because he wants to be close to her, even though they're button heads and stuff. And it's uh, it's just delicious. All right, guys, I'm done it. I'm done. <laughs> oh, it was so nice to plop back into that world, honestly. I would read anything, even her grocery shopping list. Honestly, I would. Um, it was so nice. But now I need to get off my butt and probably do some stuff around the house today. I did, well, I still didn't start the dishwasher. It's 1.16. I'll figure out what I'll do for supper. And, yeah, I just wrote my little thing on Goodreads. And my paperback book will be here tomorrow, which I'll be able to, you know, hold it and feel it. And my trophy book. Yeah, I'm trying not to buy books, but this one I have to because I own every single other book she's ever written, wrote, whatever. And uh, it'll just, it'll be so good to add that to my collection. 
I think I'm just going to make up some hamburgers. Because we got a package of hamburger buns. My husband got this in buns the, yesterday, I think. It was $9.80. This is from Sobeys. Of course. Get out here. $9.90 a kg. I'm just going to do up a few patties. And just do them up in that frying pan. Yeah, that's what I'll do. All right. I'm not even going to take it out and season it up. I don't. I might throw some seasoning on it as it cooks, but I think my husband's coming downstairs. He was doing a meeting. I'm just going to make the patties and put them in here while I can. If he comes in here to talk, I'll just speed it up and we'll go from there. But there's eight hamburger buns. I'm going to see if I can make eight hamburgers, which is not very many with a pack like this. We'll see. I have two pans here because um, I want to try to cook them all at the same time. I'm impatient. This is just wood chips. Make them nice and thin. I did spray that with cooking spray because these are kind of old pans. So I just don't want it sticking. I don't know. That's one. And I do have some, um, he picked up some coleslaw, ready-made coleslaw and ready-made macaroni cheese salad. You know, like the kind that you can buy from the store, the orange. There's some of that in the fridge. So we'll just have hamburgers and salads. And there's cucumber in the fridge too if they want some fresh veggies. But yeah, that was uh, it was nice to plop back into that world. It's, it was about a a young witch that was cursed, and she got a heads up that you can break this curse if you go to this certain castle. It's all paranormal. You know, but this castle is in a different realm and it's dangerous. It used to belong to an old evil warlock and you can't get in there except on certain, every few years at a certain time when you hear the raven crow four times and then you're locked in there for overnight and then you need to leave the next day at a certain time. Just a little window of time. And, uh, yeah, anyways, another guy who's a smoke demon who has a little crush on her, they have a little tangled history, uh, ends up going with her to her dismay at first. And it goes from there. So, that's all I'll talk about it. But, like I said, it's a comfort author, it's a comfort world. It's just, it's easy, it's kind of funny, and it's just unique. I, I enjoy it. All right, that's not bad. That's not bad. I still got, looks like a brain, a squished brain. Put one right in the middle there, and then I'll put some in that pan. And I'll just cook it on medium so it doesn't stick. see what I'm doing. I'm just going to put them in here and then I'll take my glove off and spray it. And yeah, easy. And that's early enough. This will be done before the kids get home. Oh yeah, I'm just going to My husband actually got a piece of that plastic uh, roast beef yesterday too, but I wasn't sure if he, is that off my finger? I wasn't sure if he had plans for it and he's like, no, but it's too late to throw that in a slow cooker. So I might do that tomorrow, make a roast beef dinner.
it on medium-ish. And let it go. And I'll show you those salads. I actually got into this. There's not a whole lot of this one left, actually, but there's some coleslaw here. And there's some cut up broccoli here in the fridge. Washed and cut up fresh broccoli. So, and cucumber. <clears throat> so, I'm not going to worry about it. And there's the hamburgers. And, yeah. That's about it. So, I'll be back in a bit. All right, I just did them up here. Um, greasy. I just push them off to the side. This is shut off, but I believe that they're done. And uh, yeah, there's just enough for the hamburger buns. So I'm gonna let this grease cool down so I can pour it into something and get these pans washed. It's 1:44. All right, we're outside. I just came in for a second. I had to make a phone call. Um, it's sprinkling out now. Well, it's been sprinkling for a while, but it's not full-on raining. And uh, the bus should be here soon. The truck's all wet. The car's all wet. And we'll just wait for the bus. My chair's all wet, so I can't sit in that. Um, next time I go to town, I forgot yesterday when I went. I need to get some suet. I don't have any left. And poor... Uh, Woody and Penny are without, so, you know, that's not good. Oh, I think I hear it. Excellent. It's still cold out, but it's not quite as cold as it was this morning, so that's good. It's like plus four or something. got my slippers on so I don't want to walk all over. How was school? How was school? If I don't try to talk so high pitched I can do it a little better. How was school? <laughs> there's hamburgers or there's a piece of steak in there you guys can split or there's some Alfredo. Alright, Misha May's up for some leftover steak and Alfredo. So there's still some Alfredo left and those hamburgers and the salads in the fridge. So this is their supper. Don't get jealous. Did your big sister take you out for the poopy parade today yet? Your nighttime poopy parade? Poopity boop boop so boop boop spoop. I started posting on Facebook Violet. and Twitter that we were going to go out there to do the show. Of course. And then people started sending me messages. Well, look at that bicycle seat. Well, hey friends, it's Tracy from Nova Scotia Living. It's another day. I started that off wrong. It's Tracy from another day. I'm putting an ending on this video. It is Easter Sunday right now, actually. It's our big feast day today, but I have to make room on my phone. So I took some stuff off and I'm editing it. Whew. So anyways, yeah, that book was good. I know I jabber on about it, but um, yeah, she's she's one of my OG faves. I got to I got to show some love. So anyways, I'm going to say peace, love and happiness today and every single day. Please like, share and subscribe if you so choose. But if not, that's OK, too. I still love you. I still want all the happiness in the world for each and every one of you out there. I certainly do. I really, really honest and truly do. Yes, I do. So Okay, you guys, with that, I'm going to say have a good night or have a good morning, and I will. See you tomorrow. Bye. Boink.